Hello ladies and gentlemen, fellow traders. Today is Sunday, 7th of February 2021 and the time is 11.49 pm. Welcome to our BBMA weekly analysis for the trading week of <coughs> 8 to 12 of February 2021. Let's get started. Let's see our uh, BBMA setup SOP for the start. Okay, we trade with four time frame, we clear the H4 and H1, our entry in H4. Uh, this week we use one only one percent uh, risk per trade because we have been uh, in a losing week for the past three weeks. So uh, we we're gonna continue trade a lower risk until the market condition is aligned with our setup SOP. Right. Let's look at last week trade performance. Uh, last week we only entered two trade uh, one percent each, and both of the trade has uh, stop out, uh, GU and also and you so <clears throat> that account to minus two percent of our equity okay let's look at this week uh trade setup there's a typo here let me fix that okay we start with um, dxy uh, as a usd currency index this is how we uh, determine if it's uh, usd is bullish or bearish as you can see here, price is at the MA high, so uh, we are looking for a sell setup. So we expect uh, the USD currency will be uh, bearish this week because this is the XY. All right. So on weekly time frame is a re-entry sell. On daily, we can see it make an extreme sell. Now uh, the MA five ten high is went out of the Bollinger Band, and this is a pullback candle and this candle is also a bearish engulfing all right so this is a strong indication for us and on h4 however it have not closed below the ema 50 or below the low bb so we are waiting for this to happen once this happen we will be uh, in a good sell uh, entry setup so we need to put a uh, alert on this one okay sorry i have not cleared the last week alert let me just do that real quick <coughs> sorry this is gonna take a little bit of time Alright, so we said our first alert is for DXY to uh, custom indicator make a CSM sell. Okay, so that is what we are looking for. And we want to see this happen below the EMA 50. Okay, uh, that will be our USD currency index guidance. Now, uh, looks, let's look at the first currency pair that we want to trade, which is Euro USD. For Euro USD in a weekly time frame, we can see price is rejecting this MA510 low and also it reject the, uh, the mid BB here. So this is a re-entry buy setup for us. Uh, to confirm the buy setup, we need to go to lower time frame. Uh, daily, we can see this is a extreme buy candle close outside the Bollinger Band and MA also went out but we have a big bullish engulfing candle here so this is a strong buy setup on H4 our buy uh, our setup has make a CSAK buy however it not yet close above the EMA 50 so we are waiting for the price to go above the EMA 50 and outside the Bollinger Band then we take the pullback we are going to make a pullback and we are going to take it up so set alert CSM buy so there's nothing new with our uh, setup SOP we repeat it every week through the year okay this is just to show that how can we trade systematically okay next pair will be uh, AUD USD uh, for AUD USD we start with weekly again uh, as you can see here on weekly time frame price reject the MA510 low this is a very clean and very nice uh, buy setup on daily we can see uh, price went down and reject MA50 a strong support level and also as you can see here it make a bullish engulfing here which is very good right so this is a uh, this extreme buy this is TP TPW buy and then a and h4 price has 
cross above the EMA50 and also on top of the Bollinger Band. However, as you can see here, EMA50 is not outside the Bollinger Band. So this is a very good uh, bullish movement for us. So actually what we want to look for is to, to see the price come back to around here okay, and continue to move up like that. Okay, that's what we're waiting for. So we can uh, on AUDSD we can an instant sell at this zone and put our stop below the low over here. Okay, so this is our stop level, and we target the the weekly MA five ten high level or this weekly high. Okay, so that is trading plan for AUDSD instant buy. Instant buy mean we put a PO buy here. Okay. Next pair USD JPY. For USD JPY on weekly time frame, uh, we can see price is uh, rejecting EMA fifty over here, which is very significant for us. So this is a re-entry sell setup for us. Uh, to confirm the sell, we need to go to lower time frame on uh, D one. We can see price currently making an extreme sell. Okay, although this is like a borderline case, but you can take it as extreme sell. Uh, on H4, uh, you make a, a bearish engulfing over here. This is CSASL. However, this is not ready until this uh, this candle close below the low BB and also below the EMA50. So just put alert. <coughs> Look for CSM sell. And below EMA EMA fifty. All right. Next pair is uh, GBP USD. For GBP USD on uh, weekly time frame, this has been uh, re-entry set setup for us for a very long time. You see, last week it went down and it immediately come come up back. So we have to be uh, a bit more careful on GBP USD this week. Uh, Reentry sell on daily. It make a CSK sell, make a MHV, then make a. Uh, this is a reentry sell. However, it closed above the uh, MA510 high, so we have to be a bit cautious. And if we look at lower time frame, currently making a CSM buy. So our sell is not even ready for the time being so we need to wait for this to close below the uh, Bollinger Band come back make a pullback and then we take the entry sell as you can see here this um, already happened however it's already been cancelled by this candle so we need to make uh, to wait for another uh, momentum candle to happen right so it's easy CSM cell and <clears throat> make sure it's below EMA fifty. All right, next pair is uh, USD CAD. So for USD CAD, uh, let me clear this from weekly time frame. Okay, uh, we expect USD is weak. Yeah, yes, yeah, you can see here it's rejecting the MA510 high to continue to move uh, bearish. So this is entry sell for us. On daily, it's a very uh, nice setup. This is an extreme sell. You see, MA went outside the Bollinger Band, close, candle closed back inside, and also now candle is closing below the MA50. So uh, this is a good bearish movement. On H4, we can see price make a CSM sell last week before the market close. So what, what we need to do is we need to wait for this to pull back probably around here or maximum around here then continue to go down. So um, for USD CAD uh, we have uh, we're gonna have our instant entry from here to probably around here okay and place your stop at the top BB okay so that is USD CAD instant entry uh, is PO entry here this this area on H4 okay next 
pen will be USD CHF. Okay, USD CHF. Let's see. Uh, USD CHF moves almost the same as USD CAD, but usually is a little bit slower. So uh, this is a re entry cell for us. Uh, on D1, we want to this is a extreme cell, and on H4 is CSAK cell. So it's not ready for cell yet. We need to uh, remember we need to see the pullback happen. Uh, close below the low BB, below this uh, MA50 as well, make a pullback, maybe around there to continue to move down. Okay, so set alert. Yes, this is F. CSM cell uh, <coughs> at H4 and make sure it's below EMA 50. Okay, done. Last pair will be NZD USD. NZD USD. For NZD USD, we first look at the weekly time frame. Weekly is a, uh, this is a re entry cell. However, uh, if you don't feel comfortable, you can forget it because uh, currently, to be honest, price is at the middle of the uh, MA510 high and MA510 low. However, if we try to do the analysis, we just take this as a re-entry cell. Right. On daily, uh, price actually is very rangy. However, based on the BBMA setup, this is CS. Uh, this is re-entry cell. Sorry, it's not CSAK. CSAK is this one. This is re-entry cell. However, we have to be careful because the EMA50 is below, okay? And if you look at H4, it's the same thing. Price is just all over the place. It make a uh, CSM buy here, come back down here, make a retest and all this thing. However, the, the current active uh, movement is still a bullish movement. So we need to wait for this to close below. This close below make a pullback to go for a shot so uh, sorry uh, wait a minute uh, let, let me rewind this okay so since the EMA 50 is below I think it be more safe to take this as a buy entry okay so re-entry buy on weekly all right we have a however we have a extreme cell but we don't have any CSM cell here so this is become CSM cell on daily and currently it make a, a re-entry buy on daily so on H4 as we can see here this is CSM buy and then uh, if we go down it, it actually it went down but it never closed below the Bollinger Band this is just a re-entry buy so um, what we can do for uh, NZD USD is we can instant entry at the mid BB to here and place our stop here so that will be our plan so we are expecting price to maybe do the same thing like a minor pullback to this area to continue to move up because uh, we look at uh, two factors right the first one will be we expect uh, USD to be weak because the XY is in uh, downtrend and uh, next we take the setup based on the weekly and we can see the overall trend is uh, look like a bullish trend right MA is below here and the price is keep uh, printing a high high so um, with that we can take uh, NZUSD PO buy in this area and place our stop here next week and target for this high the immediate target all right so basically those are the analysis that we have for this week uh, let me double check again maybe I make a mistake on NZUSD CSAK buy rebuy uh, actually we can uh, instant buy So we're gonna have instant buy on AU, instant buy or instant sell on 
you can end in standby on uh, NZD USD. So this will be our trading plan next week. All right. So <clears throat> that's it for this week. I wish you a profitable week. Stay safe and till we meet again next week. Bye bye.